Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Gustavo Cirola. Welcome to my annual holiday soiree. You know, nothing warms my cold, cold heart like a little story time around the fire. The TV, it's crackle. The snow, well, that'll be filled in later. The gifts are abundant. But tonight, we have a special treat for you all. Tonight, for your listening pleasure, I invited my very handsome friend, Andrew, to read us one of his favorite heartwarming tales. Oh, isn't that right, Andrew? <laughs> That's right, Gus. Happy holidays, everybody. Let's read a little story together, shall we? This one's called Gus's Greatest Gift. The holiday season was upon us again, and Gus was alone and at peace. Wait, I have a wife, said Gus, looking confused. But she said she wouldn't sign a release. Gus was a grouch and didn't need anybody. He preferred to be socially distanced, you see. You know being a grump is an art. As long as I keep friends and family away, I won't learn lessons or have a change of heart. Until one dark night, while hanging some lights, Gus slipped on a small patch of ice. He bumped his big head, but no, he wasn't dead. It's just a storytelling device. In his icy dream, he started to see a face that he knew all too well. Hey, Gus, Chris said. You're not really dead. You sure? Because I think I'm in hell. I'm here to tell a morality tale, Chris chirped in his new RT sweater. I'm sure if you wore a cozy new beanie, your head would start feeling much better. Come on. What the? This is supposed to be a morality tale, right? About the true meaning of the holidays? She would be leaning this hard into the merch side of things. I'm not a sellout. (laughs) Oh, you think you can do this without me? Okay, great. Well, fine. Be my guest. So where was I? Ah, yes. You need to get the greatest gift ever. Chris chimed in his classy new duds. Let's find it together using coma magic and pay visits to all of our buds. I like what you're wearing, and not to be a Karen, but I'm sorry, did you say a coma? Chris grabbed Gus's hand and magically vanished, leaving only a pleasant aroma. With the magical pop, the two travelers appeared in the house made of gingerbread siding. Hey, Gus. Hey, Chris, said Jess with a grin. Wait, I thought Gus was in hiding. I'm helping Gus find the season's best gift. My head really hurts. Arr, look ye no further. Here be some new Rooster Teeth shirts. Arr. I be speaking like this as it best fits the rhyme scheme, Jessica said as she showed off some teas. How about this one from the new Ruby collection? Don't buy one, better buy two or three. Wow, you know, it's really hard to get into the holiday spirit with all this merchandising. I mean, half the lines were about clothing. Look, I was doing you guys a favor. <sighs> Screw it. Good luck filling my spot. Hate you all. <laughs> uh, all right, friends, let's continue. Gus's face was a grimace. This is the worst Christmas. He was no closer to finding the gift. We better get some more help, Jess said. Let's step through this magical rift. Arr! The three stepped inside, and all of a sudden, this is where the plot really thickens. They came face to face with the jolly chap Blaine, who was dressed like an urchin from Dickens. Hello, chimed Blaine. How can I help you? I was just on my way to the gym. We're seeking a gift. With all of our friends. What are you supposed to be, Tiny Tim? You're looking for the perfect gift of the season? Have you tried the Achieve line or not? Or maybe a hoodie. Oh, this one's a goodie. Keep shopping and never stop. Okay, this is definitely sending the wrong message. It's supposed to be a story of love and hope in this horrible time, and this is just a commercial. You promised me it wasn't going to be so corporate. Yeah, well, I'm not going to sit here for one more sec. All right, we're a little tight on time, so we're going to skip ahead in the story a bit. It's my story. What an adventure, chimed Blaine. That was so much excitement. Gus looked down and felt a bit sad. We still couldn't find this season's best gift. But we found this little T-Rex a dad. Then, off in the distance, Gus started to see the glow of a warm, growing light. You're waking up from your coma now, Gus. So I think this is where we say goodnight. I love you, Gus. Hooray! I never thought I'd say this to y'all, but it was good to have you along. Even with all the gross product placement, I feel like I really belong. Goodbye! Bye!
Bye, Gus. Bye. 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 Merry Christmas. Gus waved goodbye and he stepped into the light and felt the soft sheets of a bed. All of a sudden, he shot up awake in a hospital with a bandaged head. Gus looked around at flowers and cards and pictures on the walls. They were covered. It turns out in times when we can't be together, the world's greatest gift is each other. Psych! The best gift is Rooster Teeth merch. And guess what? This was all set dressing, but it's mine now. It's 2020. We're social distanced. There's no one here to stop me. Capitalism is the only thing that's gonna pull us through this. Oh, this tree, symbol of corporate greed. Save us, go to hell, it's stupid piece of Can't get here fast enough. The cheese isn't even real. Oh, and the crackers are? I'm allergic to trees. Buy Rooster Teeth merch. It's the only thing that'll save you. Cut. Cut. This year needs to f- end.